Welcome back to BT. Happy Valentine's Day. Four wide here on the couch. We're taking requests all morning long for people you love and for a few of you, some people you don't love anymore. Uh, that That's okay too. specifically yeah. was a request for Tim McGraw's Live Like You Were Dying for the true love of Lori's life, Glenn. He truly is my everything. Lori, thank you for that. Also, P.S. Devo, I've had my phone in my hand every morning oh. for three years, <laughs> yeah. ready to say I wake up with BT. What the heck, man? I love you too, Laurie. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. Got you, girl. You know, they get you everywhere, Devo. I it's know. like, let's have some Valentine's yeah. Day greetings. P.S. Yeah. yeah. I wake so, up with BT. Yeah. 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 You have failed me. Yeah. 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 Send your love to your partner and then, Devo, what the Devo. heck, man? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, no love shown to Morgan Riley, the Toronto Maple Leafs, yesterday. Mm. Uh, Five-game suspension is what he was given. He was supposed to go to New York for a hearing with the uh, Department of Player Safety in the NHL following Saturday's incident in Ottawa. We talked about it yesterday. He cross-checked Ridley Gregg at the end of a game after Ridley Gregg was very excited about this empty netter. <laughs> Slap shots into an empty netter never work out. Um, and he got five games yesterday. I think, I think it's a bit much. I, I get the suspension. I think it's a bit much. Now, yesterday, not only was Morgan Riley missing from the game against St. Louis, but John Tavares was sick, Mitch Marner was sick, and the Leafs looked yeah. as good as they looked all year last night against St. Louis, which I think is the real story of yesterday, Morgan Riley aside. I think there's some important players on this team that don't play as a team, and I'm going to leave that right here, and we'll revisit that in another date, but the Leafs played their best hockey of the season last they night looked because great. they played together. They gave it like 15 shots or whatever it was on Samson. I'm serious. No. Like, that was a bizarre. Yeah. The Leafs are bizarre. But yeah. Like, they, they had a guy score a hat trick last night, scored two career goals, and everyone looked. Anyway, Morgan Riley. I know. Back to Morgan Back Riley. Back to Morgan mm -hmm. Riley. We, yeah. Let's go around the horn here quickly. Five games. I'm not overly mad at it. Like, it's a retaliatory thing. The league had to do something. I'll still defend him doing anything because that was garbage what happened. But five games. Yay or nay? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, the po I mean, the, the only thing I have is that the possibility was six, so there's it's a lesser. They could have had. They could have gone six or over because it was technically in person. Although because of a snowstorm in New York yesterday, he didn't go down. So he, and Morgan actually kind of talked his way out of a game. It sounds like because they could have gone six mm -hmm. or more. Yeah, and I mean, for me, just knowing uh, now, like the context of of what the most could have been given, it feels to me again. We talked about this. Um, as someone with a kid who's playing hockey and the looking up and the heroes that those athletes are, I think, you know, that type of retaliation was too much and should get the full extent. That's where I'm at. So knowing that that wasn't the full extent, it feels um, disappointing. Gable Brown. Interesting. Um, I... When they describe it and kind of say why they gave him five games, it made it sound like he hunted him down. Uh, that he premeditated this the entire way down the ice. The goal was scored. He was going to do it either way. Uh, it was a reaction to the action. Correct. Um, and a showboating action we've seen in other sports and in this sport, uh, that there will be reactions to showboating. If you do a dunk at the end of the game and don't let the clock run out in basketball, you're going to get a Howard foul the next time. Football, if you don't kneel and you try and throw a pass, there's going to be some skirmishes and all that. This is kind of part of the sport. Going to the head at any point in hockey is not cool. Morgan knows that. Morgan accepts that. Um, and I don't think that was his intent. If you look at his career and where he's been in his career, he's what, got three major penalties in his entire career. So the reputation played a part, I think, in that decision. They know he's not a dirty player. It was a reaction, and it wasn't the right one, per se, with the stick. But again, the reaction I'm okay with to the action. I just wish, again, it didn't go to the head. Tammy? Yeah, and I, I think that you, I agree with you in the sense that I think his reputation throughout his career without ever being suspended before, mm -hmm. yeah, they probably, probably played a role in giving him the five games rather than six, but I do believe that he needs to be punished. Yeah. Even though someone's showboating, I don't, and, and it's not even just to the head. I mean, we do have to teach some control here. Someone showboated, there's six sets, seconds left in this game. Okay. They showboated. We will remember that next time, uh, really, Greg, for sure. But to to try to go and check someone when you know that it's not going to help the game, it's not going to you know stop another uh, goal from going in. You're not. You don't have any of that at all. 
when you're just doing it just to do I, it, I, I'm just like, uh, I know what you're you gotta, saying. You gotta teach them res restraint. And part of that's that sport culture. Is, yeah. Part of that was... sport culture that plays into so many different yeah. conversations that we have had on this couch. But he's trying to show his team a message as well. That wasn't just to the other team, that was to his teammates to be a leader saying, hey, we gotta stand up for ourselves because they've been accused of being soft too often. Don't let anybody stomp all over you. That's kind of where that, to me, that's part of the reaction as well. Well, the way my, my only concern is as we wrap this up, if you see the reaction of everyone else on the ice Saturday after that happened, mm -hmm. I didn't see an excited Leafs team jumping in to help out Morgan Riley. Yeah. I saw the same garbage I've seen from this team year after year after year after year, except for last night when they played the best hockey of the year, missing three of their best guys. This team's, it's a strange team. It's a very strange hockey team. They have great individual all-stars. They do not play as a unit. And they don't fight for each other as a unit. I, I'm sorry. This is this is weird. I do. I still applaud Morgan for saying enough is enough. But f uh, five games. It, it, there had to be some suspension here. I'm kind of. I'm okay. The more I think about it, I'm fine with the five games. And based on my mentions, congratulations to the Ottawa Senators and their fan base for winning their version of the Stanley Cup this year, <laughs> watching Morgan Riley get suspended and having a guy playing less than 60 games take a slap shot into the net. What a standard you set in the National Hockey League. We're going to take a break. That was sarcastic. Tammy yes. has news coming up after the break.